Hello, I'm Anthony. Steinberg are currently in the process of migrating their license system from the old world e-licensor involving presumably a USB dongle, I certainly have one, into the new entirely software uh, license-based system that uses a piece of software called the Steinberg Activation Manager. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of migration. It transpires, I mean, I make videos about Cubase products, but I was completely ignorant that this process, this migration process had been effectively completed. It turns out there are a bunch of vouchers in my Steinberg account about which I had absolutely no idea. I stumbled across this information by accident. The point is that Cubase itself doesn't actually tell you that this migration is ready um, to proceed. And in fact, in 2025, Steinberg are going to disable their old dongle-based um, e-license system. So you, you do need to perform this migration sooner rather than later. Anyway, in typical Steinberg fashion, it's massively overcomplicated, very, very manual, and you need to get all of the stages absolutely right in order for it all to work. I'm gonna walk you through that process today to hopefully make it as straightforward as possible. Just a quick note about the manner of presentation of this video today. I actually talked to you through Cubase, the, the control room in Cubase, and as part of this process, you basically need to shut all of your Steinberg products down. So what I've actually done is I've performed a license migration and I'm basically gonna walk you through it through the video that I took uh, while I was doing that process. Okay, step number one, log on to account.steinberg.net. So this will log you into your Steinberg account. This is what the login page looks like. You'll enter your credentials, click next. That will sign you in. Once you're logged in, it'll probably default to the profile page but the page you actually need to go to is this vouchers link. And here are all of the redeemable conversion vouchers ready for, for ready for me to run. I had absolutely no idea this was here. I discovered this today. I'm actually in the process of migrating, migrating as we speak. Can you see these entries at the bottom that say used? They were done maybe one or two hours ago. There have been a few licenses that I've converted in the meantime they basically seem to lag on the Steinberg server. Neuro Mindset Fusion Essentials have already done those. They're still marked as redeem, but eventually at some point today, they're gonna to switch to used. The example that we're gonna walk through today is future past perfect. So at some point past me is gonna click on this little redeem button. That's the next stage uh, for us to execute. At which point it'll pop up this redeem download access code. So the next stage is to click the next button in the redeem download access code pop-up. This now generates the activation code that we're gonna to send to the old software, the license manager, the e-license control center, I think it's called. So we're gonna click that send to ELCC button. Make sure you don't already have the ELCC running. In fact, just make sure you don't have any Steinberg products running at all, other than the ones that I'm showing you here because that button actually launches the ELCC. And if it's already running, it gets all upset. You need to do these steps really, really carefully. So now that we've opened the ELCC, you get this pop-up box with the uh, activation code pre-populated. You can simply click the continue button in the bottom corner. The next window it pops up is actually truncated on my system. Can you see that the upgrade license button that I need to click is half obscured? and this window can't be resized. This is just glorious stuff. You, you, what are you doing? Anyway, we're gonna click the upgrade license button and this is effectively gonna deprecate the old USB license. It's gonna lock it in place so that it's no longer upgradable. It will still work. Your USB dongle apparently is still fully active. Of course, I'm switching over to a software management system so I don't really care anymore. Once that process has been completed, you can see we've got the upgraded successfully indicator, finish license activation, that's the next button we're gonna click. Once we click the finish license activation button, we're gonna say okay on the redeem download access code menu, and that's all of the applications closed down. Now it doesn't matter if you leave this web page open or not, we're done with it for now. We will need it again, obviously, when we're redeeming other codes, but we're done with that part of the process for now. Unfortunately, the entire process is not yet complete. You need to reopen your Steinberg activation manager, and this is what you're likely to see. You'll see the activate button with verification pending in this column. So it's waiting for us to activate. You think you click this big friendly red button and all will be good. Unfortunately not, that's not the end of the process, but we'll go through the next step and we'll see what happens. There's me clicking it. So it's now, activated you can see deactivate 
but the verification pending message is still there. The next step, I hope you're enjoying this, is to reopen your old e-license control center and verify that this license has now been deprecated. Let's, um, we're gonna close the activation manager down and relaunch the ELCC. You're then gonna click the very standard perform maintenance tasks. You pretty much press this button every time you open ELCC. Once those maintenance tasks have been completed, you close the box. If you scroll down to find the license that you've just upgraded, Future Past Perfect is at the bottom of this box and you can see that it says upgraded to Steinberg licensing. That confirms that the old ELCC is now effectively deprecated. You don't need it anymore. The Steinberg Activation Manager, the new system, is now looking after that license for you. At this point, there now appears to be some sort of time-based lag. I've calculated it down to about three or four minutes. I've not seen it take more than five minutes for this step to complete. Let's have a look what's going on in the meantime. So if you open Steinberg Activation Manager too quickly after performing that maintenance task, this is what you're gonna see. It still says verification pending. The Steinberg server appears to basically be lagging and takes time to, to figure out what's going on here. I've even tried rebooting my PC. It seems to be nothing to do with the PC itself. It's a purely time-based thing. At one stage, I did actually log out of the Steinberg Activation Manager entirely based on a recommendation from the Steinberg website itself. Unfortunately, that deactivates every single one of your licenses and you need to manually go through reactivating them all. So that's hideous. The best thing to do is simply wait, go and make a cup of tea, come back five minutes later. When you close the activation manager down and reopen it again after a few minutes, you'll see this. It's flipped back to unactivated inexplicably it says not activated. Click the big friendly activate button again. When I say friendly, there's nothing friendly about this process. But this time when we click activate, it activates properly. The pending message is gone. Everything is fully activated and that software is fully licensed and migrated to the new system. So an unbelievably convoluted process. Every single one of these licenses has to, have to be manually migrated. There isn't an update all option, which there absolutely should be, but there isn't. You don't have to do all of these in one go. You could maybe do a couple and come back the following day. Basically, as long as you get them all done before some as yet undetermined date in 2025, when the old system is closed down, by then you do need to have performed this migration. But in the meantime, that's how to do it. I'm not gonna say hope you enjoyed this video because it's an absolute torture, but it is an essential process. Hope this video helped. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Helps me out with the YouTube stuff. Thanks very much. I'll see you again.